hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video we're gonna jump right into my nail prep so as you guys can see i'm taking a cuticle pusher and just pushing back my cuticles for my nails today i'm going to be doing some simple gel x nails just because i feel like i haven't done a simple like how to do gel x method in a while so i wanted to come on here and do it again i love how these perform on my channel and i know you guys love them as well so we're going to go ahead and start with the prep once i finish pushing back my cuticles i'm going in with my e-file and a needle bit and just working around my cuticle area and this is going to help get up all of that cuticle from the nail plate and also help push up the eponychium, which is just the skin. It helps lift it up so you can go in and clip as you need to. And doing these steps is going to ensure that you have a long lasting Joe X manicure. Whether you're working with poly gel, using tips and things like that, acrylic, you want to make sure that you go in and do these steps because it's going to help your nails last long and the overall appearance just look a lot more professional. And I know there are other nail bits like cuticle prep bits that you can use but I just decided to use this one only because I didn't have much to get up I feel like since I do my nails pretty often I don't have much like where they've been overgrown but I do have products still left on my nail beds from like my peel off base so I do like to go in and get all of that up now I'm going in with a cuticle ball bit and I kind of did this part here backwards, which I will tell you about in a second. But I am just going in with a cuticle ball bit and just working that around my skin area. And basically, this is just going to get up all of that um, dead skin. It's going to polish everything up. This can also be used as an alternative method to clipping your cuticles. Depending on how much you have, if they are super overgrown and really tough, then of course you will need to go in with some cuticle nippers. But like I said, since I do my nails pretty often, I don't have that much and I don't want to damage my nails or like my skin area from clipping too much. So I did just go ahead and use this cuticle ball bit. And it doesn't hurt the skin at all. You can go over your skin as many times as you like. But of course, you don't want to have it on a super high speed. I do believe my e-file is at 3000 RPMs or maybe 4000 RPMs. You don't want this on a high speed at all. Always make sure to work with low speeds when working with the natural nail bed or anything like that because it can cause damage if it is too high or if you add too much pressure. And also, all of these drill bits I'm using or going to mention, they can be found on Amazon. I'm not sure where these are from that I am currently using in today's video. So if you are looking for some, go ahead and check out Amazon. So once I finish going around my cuticles with the ball bit um, and I remove all of the dust, you can see there's so much like dead skin. And I was hoping the cuticle ball bit was going to remove it. But since it looked so weird to me, I didn't like how it looked. I did go ahead and use my cuticle nippers. And I kind of did it backwards because usually I would go in with my cuticle nipples first and then cut all of the dead skin away and then go behind that with the cuticle ball bit to kind of polish everything up. But the way I was thinking, I was thinking I was going to use the cuticle ball bit as an alternative method just because I felt like I didn't have a lot. But in the end, I still needed to use my cuticle nippers. So yeah, I should have just went ahead and did that like I usually do. And you can really tell a difference of how my cuticle area look before and after I use my cuticle nippers. It really does make a difference. But once I did finish up with the cuticle nippers, I went around my skin area again with the cuticle ball bit just to polish everything up. Now I'm going in with a small barrel mandrel drill bit and a sanding band from Kara Sky. And I'm going to be working that once around the cuticle area and then going over the natural nail plate to remove all of that shine. When you want a long lasting gel x method or a long lasting acrylic or poly gel application one thing you need to make sure of is remove the oils and moisture from your nail plate because once you apply it it's gonna cause lifting and once the water seeps underneath you're gonna have a hard time keeping these nails on so always make sure whether whether you are using an e-file or a buffer a hand file you always want to make sure to go over the nail plate and remove all of the excess oils you also can use a dehydrator and alcohol now once all of this is done you want to go over the natural nails with a thin layer of base coat 
Using a base coat with gel products, it allows it to adhere a lot better since it's being bonded with like its own, if that makes sense. Um, but I guess it is optional as well because once you apply it using your builder gel or whatever you decide to use, it's going to be against that prepped um, dehydrated surface. So I'm guessing the base coat can be um, a choice, but I do recommend it if you want them to last a very long time. Go in with that base coat, cure for 30 seconds, and then you are good to go and start applying your nail tips which is what I'm gonna do here. So the nails I'm gonna be using are from BT Art Box. And this video is not sponsored, but I absolutely love their nails. This has got to be my favorite brand of Gel X nails. I love these extensions. And you guys know I'm not really a big fan of short nails like this, but I absolutely love their brand. They come prepped underneath. Like as you can see, there's no shine anywhere on these nails. They come already prepped. All you have to do is size them off and apply them and you are basically done. Or if you want to add some decorations, colors, or designs, you can do as you want. But for the application part, it will not take long at all. But before we get into the application, I wanted to show you guys how to go about sizing out your nails. So for my thumb, as you guys see, this first one here is the biggest size. And on one side, it fits well and rather decent around my cuticle area. But once I turn my finger, you can see it overlaps on the other side. When I go to the third one, um, it is good on one side, but it's definitely too small on the other side. But the one in the middle, if it's perfect, if it's sidewall to sidewall, it doesn't overlap. And you can't see my natural nail underneath. So that is going to be how you want to pick out your nail sizes and fit them. You don't want anything too big or too small. If you can't seem to find one that fits perfectly, always go with the bigger and just use a hand file and customize it to fit your natural nail beds and your cuticle area. And that's basically all you have to do. Personally, I don't have to do any customization with these BT Art Box nails, which is why I love them. And again, it does cut down on the um, prepping process of like before applying the nails. That part, it doesn't take long at all. So for the ones who's always on the go, love to change their nails frequently, love that natural look, don't want to pay the salon prices, or if you don't mind paying the prices, but they can never seem to get your nails how you want them. If you need something very fast, like the day of an event or something, whatever the case may be, if you want to get them done super fast, these are going to be the nails for you. I feel like Gel X Nails is just the perfect way to do your nails at home, especially with the acrylic smell and the poly gel. Some of you may not like that. If you love the natural look, I just know these are perfect for you. And like I said, I do love this brand a lot. So I feel like that's enough rambling. Now get it into the actual application. For the gel product I'm going to use to apply them, I am using the Builder Gel, which is also from BT Art Box. And my little standing light is from Melody Susie. It's a two-in-one lamp and LED light. I love it. I use it just about in all my Gel X videos. It's super convenient. But how you want to apply these is just as you see here, I'm putting some of that gel in the cuticle part of the nail. And what I like to do is stabilize my finger on my ring finger. I'm making sure I have a comfortable grip on the Gel X nail. And then I place it down because if your hands are shaking, you may end up putting it crooked or it just may not come out as straight as you want it to. So always make sure that you are stabilizing your finger. And when you are applying it to your nails, you want to start at the cuticle area. You want to press it down and add pressure gently towards the tip of the nail and you get to satisfyingly see all of that product go up towards the tip of the nail. And then once you know that it's straight, you want to go ahead and move it into the light flash cure it and you are good to go to the next nail i do like to cure them for about 15 seconds just for a flash cure um and once i get them all on i go in under my bigger light and let them cure for another 60 or 30 seconds whenever i did my last video on Gel x nails someone actually commented and said that i was applying them wrong because I have a lot of spillage and I always go in and foul around my cuticle area. Of course, I see a lot of people that don't have to go around the cuticle area. It's just me. For some reason, I always end up adding too much product and it just ends up spilling out the back. So I am not applying these wrong. It's just that I am adding a little bit too much gel. 
So when you are applying yours, if you don't want to have to go around the cuticle, even though I always recommend it, even if you don't have spillage, but if you don't want to have to go around it, just keep in mind that you don't need a lot of product and a little bit goes a long way. I feel like with me, I do tend to add a little bit more because I feel like I do have like bigger nail beds than other people. So I just want to make sure I have enough gel to cover it because if you don't, it's going to have like air bubbles in it and then I'll have to take the nail off, apply more and sometimes it gets like super sticky whenever I have to redo it. And I just hate that sticky feeling whenever I'm trying to get my nails done. Just like the poly gel as well. When I have a super runny poly gel, I hate it. So I would just rather go over my cuticles and remove it because I'm going to do it anyway rather than have a sticky work surface. So when I pop these nails off, they do have like this little piece at the tip of the nail. So I'm going to go in and file that down. Also, I feel like the sides of them was a little bit rounded. So I'm going to lightly file those just to get them a little bit straighter because I don't want to narrow them in too much and once I done all of that I'm going to take another cuticle bit and just work that around my cuticle area and I do recommend this like I was mentioning you don't have to when applying gel x nails um if you don't have a spillage but I always recommend just to get that professional look and a more seamless look After I'm done filing around my cuticles, I go in with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol to remove all of the dust. And once we are done, that's basically all we needed to do to apply them. And this didn't take me long at all. Of course, it took me a little bit longer because I'm trying to show it like step by step. And just to make sure you guys have a good understanding of how to do them. But if I were to do both hands, I feel like it wouldn't take me no longer than about 20 minutes. I did do a video on these same, well not the same exact designs, but some tips from BT Artbox. And I did time myself just to see how long it would actually take with the prep process and applying them. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it up in the cards for you guys to check out after this one. But in the meantime, I'm going to be showing you guys these new polishes I got from Nail Reserve. They were kind enough to send me five new gels from their new collection. Now, they didn't send me this about two months ago. I honestly forgot about this package. So I'm going to be just showing them and using them on my Gel X nails just because I wanted to do something simple. But yeah, I really do love Nail Reserve polishes. I've been working with them like way before they changed their name and rebranded everything back when they were nail addicts la um i love them they have a really nice coverage i love the consistency one thing i always notice is how they smell really sweet so i love that they are cruelty free they are not free formula um yeah i feel like these are good polishes to use and on top of that i do have a 50 percent off discount code that you guys can use on their website um with a minimum of three polish i believe i'm not sure but i will leave the code up on the screen and it's always down below as well for you guys to check out along with my referral link so if you haven't checked out any of these polishes and you are interested go ahead and click that link down below use my code and grab you a few polishes but yeah i am gonna be using two polishes from this collection of course i went with something pink so i'm gonna be using that glittery pink and just going over all of my nails um and before i did this i didn't apply any base coat because these nails are already prepped for me so i'm just going straight in with this gel polish once i finish i'm gonna make sure to clean my cuticles and my skin i'm gonna pop them in the light for about 30 seconds I did decide to add another layer on top of this one just because I felt like they weren't as pink as I wanted them to 
but with the second layer you can see that pink shade a little bit more now so I'm quickly gonna add the second coat again cure for 30 seconds and we'll get into the next part of the video also I did just want to mention if you are enjoying today's video or if you are learning something how to apply gel eggs to nails go ahead and like the video subscribe if you haven't already and also leave a comment down below so next, I am going to be taking this chrome powder, and I do believe this is from Pretty Diva. I got it on Amazon. So with this chrome powder, I was for sure this is their mermaid chrome powder, or I don't know if this is just how it's supposed to look. Or maybe I'm just confusing the mermaid chrome powder with the unicorn chrome powder. But when I applied it to my thumb, it did look a little bit greenish. Um, and I was I wanted to go for something a little bit more rainbowish and iridescent. But when I added it to my thumb, I didn't want to change it. So I did just go ahead and apply it over all of my nails. I didn't want to overthink this nail set at all. And I'm glad I didn't change it because I love how it looked with the charms I added at the end. Um, but yeah, so once I finished rubbing all my chrome powder, I did go ahead and dust off the excess. And now I'm going to be taking that like white color. It kind of has like a pink shade to it. It's not like white all the way. It kind of has like this eggshell pink type of look to it but i'm going to be taking this color and doing some french tips on my middle finger and my ring and my thumb So when I cure on my first layer, I did notice how the glitter from the pink base made the white part look a little bit bumpy. So once I cured this for 30 seconds, I did go over off camera with another layer just to kind of build up like so it wasn't showing through. Um, and I did do that off camera and this is how it looks. Now for my other two nails, I was just going to leave them as is, but I got the idea that's like this really trending design. I don't know what it's called, but I see it a lot when they do like the 90s nails, the bandana type nails, um, the hibiscus flowers. I see this design paired with a lot of different new designs and I thought about it. So I was like, maybe I should just add that design to these nails and just keep it simple. I didn't really like it at first, but like I said, I didn't want to overthink this design. So I did that on my pointer and my pinky nail. I did go ahead and cure it. And now I'm going to be adding my charms. So I do have this pink selection of charms I'm going to be choosing from. If I can find the link on Amazon, I will link it down below or I'll link it in my Amazon storefront. It has such nice pink charms and rhinestones. So I picked all of them from that selection and I'm going to be applying my top coat and just carrying them into this. And a really fun fact about this part of the video. So when I was applying my charms and rhinestones and just finish up my entire design, the wind was blowing like crazy. Like when I tell you the trees looked like they're, they were about to fall down. There were severe thunderstorms in our area and it was looking so crazy outside. So I was just trying to hurry up and get it done. Um, and so yeah, that's basically how I finish off this design, but I am just going to let you guys go ahead and watch me apply them. 
I do feel like since I was in such a hurry, some parts weren't really in frame, so I do apologize for that. But I'm gonna let you guys finish up watching me apply the charms, and once I'm done, you guys get to see how the finished nails turn out. So like always, I did go ahead and apply my cuticle oil and rub that into my cuticles to re-nourish them. And this is how the finished nails turned out. I feel like the charms didn't have any thought put into them. For one, I was rushing. And also, in the end, I kind of love the way it looks very random, kind of like a mini kawaii set. I love how these look. At first, I wasn't really a fan of how I felt like they were going to turn out, but now I feel like the pink vibe, the chrome powder in the background, giving it like that pearlescent look to it, the shimmer, and just the overall glitter and pink, I, it just made me love it a lot more. Um, I didn't have enough time to record any in the sunlight, so unfortunately, this is all you guys are going to see. So yeah, let me know how you guys enjoyed today's video and nail set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.